So what was working for you guys well, particularly in the first half? And I guess what, what changed in your mind in, in the second half? Momentum. Momentum's the greatest player and coach on the field. When you got it, you got to run with it. When you don't have it, you got to try to find a way to get it back. Um, we just didn't find a way to get it back. We got off the field on third down, and you know, defensively we stayed on the field on third down, so it was the biggest key in the second half. And in hindsight, I guess, what are maybe some things that you would have liked to have seen to get momentum back and far getting James into rhythm or getting the offense in general into rhythm better? I've uh, just been more productive on first and second down. You know, if you look at it, we were in a lot of third and longs, which, um, you know, they were able to expose us a little bit up front because they were we were very predictable with what we were having to do. So uh, just be be higher percentage on first down and um, and being able to run the ball better. We've got to be able to run the ball in the second half, especially with the lead like that, and we weren't able to do that. Uh, we were ten attempted to at times, but we just we weren't able to do it. So it's on us as coaches and players, make sure we find a way to get it done. After watching the film, what were your thoughts on the running game? You had success in the first half, not so much in the second. I think once again, it just goes back to, to having momentum and having a rhythm. Um, you know, you can tempo runs and within drives and, you know, everything's going and it, it happens. But, you know, when you come out there and you don't really make yards on first and second down to start off drives, it's hard to continue to maintain and feel good about what you're doing. So. Um, just got to be better in that in that regard. Was there anything that Boise State did in the second half that caught you by surprise? No, they really didn't change much. Um, I give all those guys the credit. They did a great job, um, and, and they have done a good job. We talked about that. They're a good football team. Those guys are going to win 10, 11 games every single year. They got good players, and, and their players believe. Uh, they know how to win. They know how to finish games. Um, and, you know, I don't know if right right now we're there. So that's, that's what we're trying to get to. We got to – we got to get in those situations, and our guys got to believe that we can finish the games and, and not relax. I think I think things happen for us a little bit easy early, and um, you know guys were thinking, "Well, this is easy," you know. And uh, you know when you play against a good football team, it's not going to quit. It's not that way. So uh, we got to lock in and we got to finish, and we weren't able to do that uh, from an execution standpoint. Did you, did you not expect that? We got James and Cam here. Did you not expect that? Did you expect the guys maybe would, would not be complacent? Is that something that you guys should maybe be more aware of when you're talking to the guys at halftime to make sure they keep the, the pedal down? Yeah, I mean, I don't, and I don't want to say it was all on them. I mean, I take full responsibility as a coach as well. Um, it's our job to get them to, to play well and execute on on a daily play play basis. So, um, you know, I take I take responsibility for that, but. Uh, the, the execution level was not where it was in the second half, obviously.